Hi everybody, Yarn Fairy here. Wanted to share with you how I set up my Roberta to spin for lace. I've had several questions about whether or not she can actually make lace weight or cobweb weight yarn, and I don't see why not. Um, <clears throat> it does require a bit of jerry rigging though. Um, you're gonna need some wire. And this is just your standard coated copper wire, uh, 21 gauge some wire cutters. You snip just a bit of it off. This is like, I don't know, a few inches. And then you're gonna want uh, something to wrap it around, pliers. Um, I wrapped it around the fattest part of the plier. And what we're doing is we're just making this little um, extra O-ring over here to send it through so that it has that extra tension that it needs to make lace. So I'm just twisting the wire to make an elongated end. So then what you're left with is this loop and end. And I flattened it out and now you can stick this end through a second O-ring. Ta-da! And it just sits there goes through, okay, so you want to put it through the flyer arm last before it hits the bobbin so that it can feed and, you know, move and still feed onto the bobbin. So this one's second and then this one's third and then through the orifice. Okay, so <clears throat> your settings, you want to be uh, with the knob set at around nine o'clock to start with. Your fiber prep is so important to spin for lace. Um, as you can see, my project does not require lace and my fiber does not want to be lace. It wants to be a big fat bulky art yarn for this sweater that I'm making. I'm making a little pullover uh, cowl neck. And I thought, you know, why not throw a little bit of finer stuff in there <coughs> and make like a thick, thin, um, so I'm not spinning this as fine as I should for lace, but let me go ahead and spin some for you. Because it's possible with just any fiber to spin lace. And it is possible to get it on my little Roberta. My lovely little Roberta. And if you need a Roberta, you spinner, um, I got one because my knees were bad. And then instead of just buying one, I decided to become a distributor. This is the best e-spinner, as you can tell. It's super quiet. It's beautiful, so it's a nice tabletop item that you don't have to hide when company comes over. Um, and you can even spin in front of company because it's quiet. You know, I've seen all the other ones out there. They're super loud, super big, super not very pretty. Okay. <coughs> Here is my example. Wow. You can't even see it. <laughs> Let's see. There you go. It's super thin. I don't even know. Okay, and as far as like technical terms, I'm so not into technical terms. I do not know how to say any of the stuff I know I'm making to S's to ply Z, and that's that's about all I know. As far as like ratios and stuff are concerned, and how many twist there are per inch. I don't know that either, but as you can see, this is made of terribly fine yarn. Um, here's some fingering. So I always do the, the blind feel test, which is you put the two strands like this, and then you can go like this with your eyes closed. I'd say the fingering is twice as fat, so this is definitely a lace weight. And this is without even trying, you guys. Um, if you have a different fiber, the different fibers are going to spin differently. I know that when you put a silk blend into this, that it spins a lot finer. I know that if I was to spin my Wensleydale, that it would also spin um, finer, and you'd be able to actually get... Um, okay, 
what you're trying to do when you spin lace is for anybody who doesn't know and hopefully <laughs> that's most of you um, you're trying to just get several strands twisted together and once you get the twist in there then you can ply it back then you can knit with it you could probably use it as a single but it would probably fall apart um, my goal eventually is to be able to spin a nice two-ply cobweb um, the fiber though has a lot to do with it. We have a Wensleydale in stock that has super long strands in it. And if you have super long strands, think about it, you'll need two strands to overlay to set twist into. So you could get something down that fine. And I love our Wensleydale because when I wet it, it starts curling up again. It's so cute. They're, um, the fleece is a lot of curly locks. So it's February of 2018. We do have some Wensleydale in stock if you're interested in that. If you want the Roberta, check the link in the notes. And oh, it's a great machine. We've even offered um, financing to some people um, on a monthly draw. So if you need that, that's available too. Um, yeah, how to set up your Roberta for lace. Did you guys? You got all that right. It's just this little bit of wire. And this, this, I don't, like I said, know the technical terms, but I know that this is needed to like stretch the fibers. Oh, and the other thing that you can do when you're spinning, gee, I've made a super botch of this, but like I said, this is a sample for y'all and that was it. When you're spinning, um, I have a pause control, so my foot is controlling this. When you're spinning, so you get your, your draw going and then you can pull it out here even finer okay oh, look at that I'm sure you've all seen this that's just before it breaks but that's what you're going for when you're spinning for lace as long as you get some twist into this whoops <laughs> didn't I just say it was gonna break <laughs> anyway you get the idea enjoy your spinning guys <laughs>